Now I'm ready to run the one-way ANOVA exercise. The researcher is wondering whether there's any significant differences in the body weight of patients with anorexia before beginning any one of the three treatment programs, interested in making sure that the groups are equivalent. So if there's any significant differences, that could throw off the results. So the research question for that situation, is there a difference in pretreatment body weight between patients with anorexia in the control group, in the behavior group, and in the family therapy group? So we indicate that by suggesting that all the means of all three variables are going to be equal across all, all three groups. And then our, null, our alternate hypothesis is that at least one of those groups is different. So I need to go to SPSS to, to run that analysis, and I'll be using the anorexia data file. So here I'm in the anorexia data file. To run my analysis, I'm going to go to Analyze, Compare Means, One Way ANOVA. That brings up this dialog box. Now, the dependent variable that I'm interested in is the pretreatment weight. So for this research question, I'm going to put pretreatment weight over in this box. The factor is the treatment group. Remember the treatment group variable holds a 1, 2, or 3, where 2 is the control group, 1 is the behavior therapy, and 3 is the family therapy. Now, looking through the, the options here, contrasts, as I mentioned in class, this is something that, that we're not going to unpack in too much detail, but I do encourage you if you're interested in this method to take a look at the Andy Field text. He's got an excellent description of this. We're going to go to the post hoc test and we're interested in running two keys HSD. All right, so we'll check that box. We don't need to check any of the others. Then under options, this is where we want to make sure that we have our descriptive statistics and the homogeneity of variance test is also informative. Um, and so those are the only two boxes that I'm going to check here and click continue. Now everything's set, I hit OK and it'll run my results. Now these results The first box here gives me the descriptive statistics across groups. So I've got the mean, the standard deviation, the confidence interval, the minimum, the maximum for each of the three uh, treatment groups, as well as a total for all participants across the way. One thing you might notice is that the sample sizes of the groups are different, and this is actually going to be something we need to pay attention to when we start calculating effect sizes. The next is the test of the homogeneity of variances. Now, just like Levine's test in the t-test statistic, Levine's test appears directly in the t-test output. Here it's a separate box, but it tests the null hypothesis that the variances are equal. Because that's the situation that we want, we don't want to reject that null hypothesis. If we reject the null hypothesis for, the, for Levine's test, that means that our data doesn't fit the assumptions of, of the ANOVA test. Here, it is not significant, which tells us that we do not have an ev enough evidence to say that the variances are different, therefore we can assume that they're the same. Next, we go to our findings for the ANOVA itself. The significance value of 0.552 
tells us that there are no significant differences. So when I go to my notes file, I'll see that I've got two different sets of boilerplate text for writing up the results. The results I'm looking for are the non-significant results. So I'll borrow these from here. and put them here for the write-up. Now, I'm going to switch back and forth here so that I can pull the values that I need from the table. When I rewrite this, I'm going to say that there is no difference in the pre-treatment body weight of patients with anorexia who are assigned to the behavior treatment group. Now I need the mean and standard error of the behavior treatment group, which I can find up here. 82.69. 82.69. And the standard error is 0.90. And then those who are assigned to the family therapy group, which is on this row, 83.23. Eighty-one point five six. Got rid of my label there from the boilerplate text. Uh, with a standard error of one point one two. Now, I need to put in findings of the F-test itself from the ANOVA table. So when I look at the ANOVA table, my degree of freedom, I'm going to use between and within here for my degree of freedom. I need to put the F value and the significance there. So my degrees of freedom are 269. value is 5.52. And next, I need to calculate my omega squared. So if I go to my notes file, there. The omega squared uh, effect size is going to use information out of the ANOVA table. It's 
the sum of squares between minus the degrees of freedom between times the mean square within. I'm actually going to put this here. Arrange this so that I can see my findings. There we go. And I'll put my calculator up in between. All set. Okay, so I'll do the numerator first, and I'm going to go ahead and do my multiplication first because that's easier. The degrees of freedom between uh, are here at the top, and the mean square within is this second value. So I'll do 2 2 times 27164, 27.164 equals, and then I need to subtract that from the, the between square within, so I'll copy that number so I can paste it in a second. My between squares, or my sum of squares between, rather, is 32.569 minus, now I paste the value I just copied, wind up with negative 21.759. I'll go ahead and copy that. Control C to copy. And now clear that out. Now for the denominator, I need the sum of squares total plus the mean square within. So the sum of squares total is here at the bottom. Mean square within is the one that I just used here. So actually, I'm going to paste that number I just had back in there. Divided by, and now I'll type parenthesis. There we go. The sum of square total is 1906.915 plus the mean square within 27.164, close parentheses, and equal. Okay, so this is my effect size negative 0 0.011. So if I come to my text in, there we go. So it's negative 0 point, okay, so point zero one one. real quick. That is a still a small effect, which is a small effect, and that's what I've mentioned here, and I'm citing the field text where the omega squared is discussed.